Hello everybody, my name is Wadzik and today we are going to make the flat gun from Plastic Apocalypse Hedge Base. History time! So the Green Army first saw the flat gun, which they called it, when they were um, invading Hedge Base and that was in Plastic Apocalypse. So yeah, that's where they saw it. Oh, and if you're wondering what the flat gun can do, ask the Green Army. <laughs> Either way, you didn't come here to just tell you about how cool it is. You came here for a tutorial, so let's get right into it. So what you'll need is a mechanical pencil, scissors, exacto knife, thin piece of cardboard, thick piece of cardboard, and toy soldiers for references, glue gun, glue sticks, and maybe a lot of glue sticks. The first thing I did is take scissors and get a box of thick cardboard and cut it to get a rectangle. The second thing I did was trace a tall triangular piece from the thick cardboard. This will be the base, and then I cut it out. Then you can take thinner pieces of cardboard and put it on top. But basically, that's your first piece. This step is long, so I just spit it up. So then I traced out some wheels and cut them. After cutting them, you should make smaller circles with the thin cardboard and then Glue that on the bigger wheels. After that, take a toothpick and cut off the ends. I blocked everything with my hand here. But either way, I'm just measuring it. So what you want to do is take the X-Acto knife and drill some holes. Then you want to stick the toothpick and put some hot glue in there. And then you got your wheels. After you got the wheels done, I wanted to make this functional. So I got some paper and, and cut it a little bit into this long rectangular shape. After that, I took the piece of paper measured it, then I rolled it up with the wheels. Once you do that, you should find this little end. You take your hot glue gun, and you glue it together. And boom, baby, you got your you got your step done. All you gotta do is put them together, and it should look something like this. Oh, I made a custom track on Now we're all moving on to the turret. This montage is so long. Oh, thanks, Rayma, you're baking in the back. Don't worry about that. Either way, here I just made the turret, in some little rectangular squares. Then I cut them up. To support this rectangular masterpiece, I put little squares inside. This helps so it doesn't all fall apart and it's all weak. Sorry, this is super long. So as you can see here, either way, I just put, I just made a little cube and I put it um, in there so you don't see the hollowness. So it's not, so it doesn't look bad. Now this is the turret part. So let's get right into this. Oh, by the way, it's called barrel i'm so sorry either way i took the green mechanical pencil part which was from another pencil that i used and i just cut it and it and be careful because this thing flies and here's me trying to struggle to cut the plastic this is hard plastic by the way this part off camera but e what i just did was i took the green plastic and put it on there then i took the black plastic and put it on the green plastic so i made this kind of barrel thing Oh, and here's how the barrel should look like. I think you guys saw that. Either way, all I did here was just making sure the barrel was straight. Because you don't want a wonky barrel. Who wants that? So here I was just gluing it over and over again. So it's sturdy and nice and straight. Oh, and that's how the barrel should look like. Now, let's, let's get into how to make the actual turret holding mechanism, I think. So for this mechanism, tripod thingy, whatever you want to call it. I just took these, um, yeah, I just took these little squares and then this, um, this rectangle. Then I put it on the bottom and glued it together. I'll show you one second. So I don't know if you can see it, but basically it's just like that. Then you gotta put another one on there. The same exact copy of, uh, the same exact rectangle shape. But yeah, that is how it looks like. I'm holding it right now. So now this step is very easy. Just um, take the thing you made and poke a hole in the in the triangle. Then you want to also poke it. Then you want to slide the toothpick right in there, just like what I'm doing. As you can see there, that that's how it looks like. That's how it's supposed to look like. Then you want to take the triangle and glue it to the base plate, and then also poke a hole in there. And this is how it should look like at the end. Use some editing magic to put the pieces together, and you're basically done. Oh, well, would you look at that? I 
got something wrong. Look at this. Now look at this. As you can see in this photo, this is the flat gun Mike Ackerman used in Plastic Apocalypse Hedge Base. Look at it closely. Do you notice something that I don't have? Oh, well look at that. There's a little clip there, and there's... I don't know what that is, but it's on the barrel. The point I'm trying to say is mine doesn't have a mag or the little handle on it. So, let's fix that right now. So if you haven't already, make this front plate. So here, all I did was just take two small rectangles and I glued them together. And it should look something like this. And you want to glue that on. After that, I took the exact knife and made it warm. All I did was I just drilled this little hole so the thing on the barrel can go in there. And then you just want to hot glue that in. And it should look something like this. And yeah. That's how you make the flacon from Plastic Apocalypse Hedge Base. If you like this tutorial and this type of content, make sure to like and subscribe. By the way, this video took a lot of hard work, so if you could just at least view it, that would help me a lot. But yeah, either way, here is a little stop motion I made. Stay on your car, man. I might be I think, I, think I heard something. It's ah! So that was the tutorial. As always, stay safe and work hard. Bye.